Hello, 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 and welcome to the latest installment of And Sarah Appeared. My name is Sarah, and I'm appearing before you today because I feel like my walk with the God has always been a threat and has always been under attack, but it's been under attack. I've never had a good rapport with the leadership. I've never had a good rapport with my leadership. I feel like my leadership has always been like annoyed with me or intimidated by me. There's always been um, a thing about, I don't know, it's like I've always been rebellious in some way and I've never known how do we get, how did we get here? Why am I the rebellious one? How did that happen? I, I don't even speak up for myself. Why are, why does it feel like I'm being like bulldozered or why does it feel like I'm being bullied? I don't even go bothering people. I don't even go messing with people. Why is it that I've had so much warfare and charismatic witchcraft put on me and have to fight against that and then also have to fight against, you know, the things that are going on, like what is going on? And I came to the conclusion, like, this gotta be it. I this gotta be it like i have to stick with serving christ i have to stick with serving god and i know that there's issues that i have but i never have shied away from my issues why is it that i go to church and i can't get the help that i need in church how do you go to church and you automatically become the topic of the sermon how do you go to church and you automatically become the topic of the discussion, but you don't get the help that you need and you're not running away from the fact that you have problems? Like, I've never shied away from the fact that I need help in different areas, but you know what? The help that I needed was deliverance. How do you go to church for deliverance and deliverance doesn't happen? Everybody else gets deliverance and it's like, maybe I need to go out of state or something. What is going on? And I'm just literally filtering my way. Like, and I, and, and here's the thing. How do you get, how do I, I like my experience is so different, like so hard. How do I get punished for having a closer walk with Christ? Why do I get punished? Because I take my walk seriously. Why would I get, I've never seen so much hypocrisy. How do you come after somebody and get mad at them because they like doing charity work? How do you get mad at somebody because they go to church for help with life issues like, help me, I'm having problems getting from point A to point B. Help me because I'm not a great person. I know I'm not a great person and I want things in my life to change and I need to go through a transformation, um, but I, I need help. Like, I'm trying to get my life better. Is it like I'm, what's going on? Like, are you guys trying to keep people bound to their issues so that they can like be more dependent on who you are as a leader? And like, I please don't. Like, I'm just talking as a general statement. I am not talking to certain ones in the body of Christ. This doesn't apply to everyone, but this applies to some. And I'm talking about my own experience. And if you're offended about me talking about my own experience, maybe you are the problem and you need to take it up with God. And maybe you need to question, why did you take a vow to even go into the ministry in the first place? What was that even about? And why do I get, why is there such harsh persecution? Like, why would you come down on me so hard? I feel like, especially in the black church, I feel like you use, you treat women like cattle. You, you treat women like, look at how, like, honestly, look at how we like do. And this is not every black church. This is not every black church. This is like, you know who you are, but this is not every black church. But, and it, it's not, it's just, it's simply not. There are a lot of black churches that are out there that are completely progressive, completely forward moving, completely great. They do things, they're empowering. I don't want to name names, but there are some people, especially with their online platforms, I'm talking about pastors who are in the church doing it. 
They're amazing. They, they have great sermons, great leadership conferences. They have great online, like, in-between talks where they talk and they counsel people. They're great. They're absolutely great. And then there's other ones where it's like, what do you think you're doing? This is not of God. What you're calling one thing is something completely different. And even though I'm a baby in Christ and I just gave my life to Christ, I'm not stupid. I am not stupid and I'm speaking out like this right now because I know that God's got my back in this. Do you know how many uh, fights and attempts and attacks that I've literally like dodged and so many things that have happened and gone on under the radar? So many things, some things that are like, I know it's like that's completely illegal that's been going on. And it's like, I've just been praying my way through it. And God has been bringing it me through it the entire time. I feel like I'm a, like, I feel like I'm a piece of property. Like, you're like, oh, I own you. Uh, you wait, excuse me? Nobody owns me. I'm not selling my soul to somebody who's in the pulpit. What is going on in the ecclesia? Like, what is really going on? And everybody is shuffling their feet and looking side to side. And nobody wants to say anything. And people, no, it's like, I don't know what's going on. It's like you have a bunch of paid positions and all this other stuff. And they're calling things order and they're calling things structure. But none of this is in order. None of this is in structure. All of this is weird. All of this is chaotic none of this looks like god i don't even know what god looks like anymore i'm completely confused i'm a little scared but now i'm not so much scared because it's like okay and i'm back i got problems I got issues. I'm not perfect. That's why I came to church. So I can get delivered. So I can get devils cast out of me. So I can have a closer walk with thee. And all hell broke loose. But I did get closer with God. And I did understand um, more about who he is and how he operates. And I also, um, I also understood more about how he made me. And he, the strength that he put in me. And the fact that I don't have to be afraid, even though it is intimidating and it is daunting, um, especially when you have like a lot of different rebukes and you have a lot of things going on. I've been really afraid of myself, I've been afraid to be myself and God made me who I was. I've been running from myself and trying to cloak myself in being a nice person, which I am. I have been a I, I'm a nice person to my core. I'm really not a messy individual. It's just that a lot of people try to attack me and, and usually most of my attackers, I don't know, are people who are in authority who've accomplished way more than me in life and who've had way more than me in life and who've seen and done great things and yet they come after me and I'm just like, huh? I don't understand this and it's like you're not getting in line or you're not getting with the program and I don't I'm like I don't understand the program I'm trying to but I'm met with hostility I don't like being met with hostility especially when I come from a pure place I'm not a swindler I'm not somebody who's like oh um you know I'm only doing this for like fame that never was me. I never was 
I just started a YouTube channel this year and I and I started it and I started it just to um, express myself and take and like really take care of myself because I went through um, a lot of charismatic witchcraft. I went through a lot of trauma. I went through a lot of um, I went through like judgment I, from God too. And then God lifted judgment off of me. But I still was going through certain attacks. And God returned all of those attacks. Um, <laughs> shout out to the ops. Um, yeah. I'm in a really good space right now. I'm in a really good space right now. I just don't understand a lot of things about these systems. They don't have anything to do with Christ. They don't. They're unnecessary. They're all man-made. And I don't like... Um, I don't... They're all man-made to me, what I see. It's a lot of stuff that's just like, this has nothing, like, what is the purpose of this? I feel like, why would you, like, I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't understand. There's a lot of things I don't get. But one thing I do understand is, um, God made me a fighter. And I I didn't even know he made me like that. I didn't know. And there's just certain things that I just, I can't be oppressed. That's not rebellion. I can't be underneath oppression. I can't. That's not rebellion. I can't be underneath, like, I can't feel like I have a leash around my neck. That's not rebellion. Um... I feel like in my community, women are very oppressed. I feel like women are very um, gifted and powerful. And yet there's some sort of like rage that comes against if you question anything, if you go up against anything. And I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I'm not a re I'm not a difficult person. I'm not a rebellious person. I'm not a disrespectful person. I'm just I'm tired. And I'm not going to allow the church to disconnect me from Christ. I'm not disconnected from life. I'm not even I don't have dissociative disorder. I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that. I have a lot of discernment. Um, more than what I can speak on. But it's like... I never... I don't understand why it's been so hard... To just go to church... And really live out my walk. And really step into my calling. It's been a really, really like hard fight it's been a lot of gatekeeping that's been going on it's been a lot of stuff that is requiring me to compromise who i am in christ it's exhausting too it's been a lot of threats because i've talked out and i've said different things and yet none of the threats have come into fruition and that's by the grace of god not by me not by my might, not by my power, but by God. So that lets me know that I'm on to something. Like, God's tired too. And I'm in a good space right now. I'm in a really, like, healthy church setting. I don't desire to be on any platform or any stage, like, or anything like that. I just want to get a closer walk with God, and I just want to be with God. I don't even chase... <laughs> It's been so much that's gone out there. Like, it's been so much that's gone on. It's like, where is this coming from? What's going on? I 
I don't know. I just know it's going to get better. I just know it's going to get better because it doesn't have a choice but to get better. I know that whether you go to a church or whether you do an online church, I, you know, whatever it is that you do, don't let anyone try to deter you away from your call. Whatever your call is, if you don't even know what that is or what your gifting is or what your anointing is, it's fine. God will reveal it to you in meantime. He will show you. But don't let anyone run you away from Christ. You know, don't let anyone push you away or try to tell you you're not even fit to be in the kingdom. That's demonic. I can't tell you don't be afraid because there is a real aspect of church that you need to be afraid of. You need to be cautious of. And I'm talking about like even with your life. It's it's serious. It gets detrimental out here. There's a real aspect that you've got to just some things you just got to be careful about. You have to tread lightly. I would never tell you to cry loud and spare not. If you cry loud, there's a possibility that you may not live to cry again. It's just the world we live in. Um, there's a lot of things that people have to be able to protect. And if you find yourself in that position, if you find yourself in in that setting, if you find yourself, you know, like that, get out. Get out and lay low until you can find somewhere safe to go and worship God or find somewhere safe where you can go. My platform has literally been saving me because my platform is a testament of kind of some of the things that I've dealt with, not only with in the church, but also dealt with things with uh, family members. My platform is evidence that I'm not crazy. Um, I've just had a lot of crazy events that have gone on with me that it's something, let's just say it's, it's uh it's script worthy right but um yeah i'm not one of those i'm not going to tell you if you feel like that there's been an injustice done to you or if you feel like if you just don't feel safe in your environment whatever your community of worship is just walk away and do the best that you can and immerse into another community that you feel would be more conducive to your lifestyle or who you are. But honestly, just walk away. I would never tell anyone to go out there and cry loud and spare not knowing that there is another side of this church world. Knowing that it can be detrimental to you, to your growth, to who you are as a person. I'm not going to be irresponsible and say that. Just go out there and and say what you need to say. Don't go out there. Don't speak up and say what you need to say until you are safe. Until you know the coast is clear. Um, until you are healed and until you are whole. Um... In my situation, I was just thrown into stuff. And God gave me the ability. Unless God gave you the ability like me, God gave me the ability to be able to fight back. And I never wanted to be in that position, ever. But God gave me that ability to be able to fight back. And to, and to be able to see beyond a lot of different smoke and mirrors. And, you know, I would just say to anyone, stay prayed up and really pray to God before you enter into certain institutions and houses of worship and places and really do your research as well, um, because it's not for the faint of heart and I 
I'm fortunate because God protects me. He doesn't, not everybody has the protection that I have. And I'm fortunate. And I thank God for it. And now I'm into calmer wa waters. And I love that for me. And although I know that this isn't the last of a lot of different things that have been going on. I'm more equipped. I'm more equipped. Um, I'm not, I'm not happy with the way that things have happened. I'm not happy at all. Um, more than anything but at the same time i'm here bye for now